feet till you kill the retards running from you. Live to bite, spread disease. We are the walking dead. Day by day, killing all the way. They're fucking retarded. There's another human down. Live to bite. I'm the boss. I'm the undead here in town. We're gonna kill all of them. They need binoculars. There's another AK round. You miss my head. Cause you're dead. I'm gonna bite you as I said. My name's Rage. Zombie Rage. Can still talk and sing parodies. Prompt I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> a composed, composed, I'm a composed zombie, zombie host. So, episode two, chapter two, has happened, and I'm excited, are you guys excited? I should probably be like, my name is Rage, welcome to Walking Dead, but at this point, uh, hello, but there you go, you got the hello for everyone to miss the hello. I don't really know what I'm doing, so let's just play. I cannot wait to continue the story of Clementine. You guys are probably like, play, play, press the play button. I want to see, press it, press it, stop singing terrible zombie-based parodies and play the game. Well, I will tell you. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go into this. I did a whole impromptu Pokemon parody with the actual backing music as a Walking Dead zombie. And to be honest, it was amazing. So don't judge my live to win zombie parody until you've seen that one. Yeah. So previously on Walking Dead, Krista decided to walk alone into the forest where she instantly got attacked by bandits and stabbed in the knee. What a retarded bitch. Clementine then immediately fell in the water. What a retarded child. She then decided the best thing to do would be to sleep in the forest, at which point she got attacked by a zombie. Shocking, right? Then she bumped into two guys who were like, we'll just carry her with us because she's a girl. Then we'll argue in front of her about shooing her in the face, locking her in a shed, or bringing her into the house. That won't emotionally scar her at all. So eventually we decided to bring her in the house where we're just basically talking to her, and she became Sassmaster 9000. So now Sassmaster 9000 is in the house with these retards who, for some reason, wanted to shoot a girl. So she went on a hunting trip with them as Sassmaster. Then she decided to side with the old guy because young Mr. Retard Face couldn't evade a zombie when he had a 10-foot opening, ended up running into the woods. That is what happened on Walking Dead. Oh, oh look, it's also doing a recap itself. Just, I just, you know, thought you'd like to know how the general train of ultimate it, pain and just quite frankly head. poor decision making. Well, here we go. Here we go. Is it going to show? Is it going to show? No, no. Yeah, we saved him because, you know, we're ballers. We, we uh, gave him a hand. Because <laughs> he, he, the hand he was, we gave him a We can't. And then this guy, run towards us. Look at this. He cannot even, like, what? Run towards us. Hop over the river. Like, look at this guy. How did he let that happen? I said this last time. Okay. I don't like picking out all the flaws the characters have. Okay, that's a lie. I do. But I just, I'm not going to say it again. He's stupid. I hope he dies. He's, he's on the list. Not as high as Duck. No one can get as high as Duck, but he is on the list. Pretty much underneath Ben. Although Ben is dead, so we can all rejoice. I had some champagne the moment that happened. Alright, so here we go, everybody. Let us begin the next episode of The Walking Dead. I know everything has been pretty intense so far, but I am excited. I love this game. I love the story, and I love the world. I cannot wait to find out what happens to Clementine. I'ma keep her alive, and then I'ma keep her hat alive. The hat is my second most important important thing to keep a lot and I mean it's a hat it's not alive or dead but you know what I'm saying it's important that I keep it on her head all right so how did she get here okay so she's trapped all right so they've well, trapped themselves in a van and zombies are, by, are, are banging the downside, yeah the zombies outside they've been alive that long they've grown some sort of sentience and are now banging okay so we're in a van we are the van people it's not really a van is it? it's kind of like a truck is it a truck is it a Strategic resource. True. I'm looking at who? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking. No, I'm looking at the gaping zombie bite on your leg. I'm going to have to kill you, old man. You see the problem? You're gonna turn? How? Yeah, how am I feeling? I'm feeling. I'm feeling. I'm feeling dead, Clementine. I'm dead. I am going to die. Ooh. Do I get to choose? Huh. Uh. 
Yeah, let's do it. I want to cut his leg off. Mainly because I just want to cut someone's leg off. I think that would be more fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, more generally fun than not. I mean, we give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. <laughs> I love it when people do that. Like, someone has walked up behind them and started strangling you mid-sentence. But given the choices between A, have a man cut his own leg off in front of you, oh, or B, oh, oh, no. Hell. I just wanted you to cut off your leg. Just and then I could call you Stumpy. You could become Old I Man Stump. Don't go to get some rest. You'll be a zombie when you wake up. So technically here. speaking, you won't wake up. Alright, Clementine, we got this. We're gonna find help. We are the best. We are Ninja Sassmaster. And we have the power of being a child. That is quite a power, to be fair, given the world that we're in. People don't kill children off unless you duck or bend. Damn it! That power was not a power at all! Alright, let's have a look what we got here. We got wires and we got things. Rage Gaming Videos, Chief, are telling you what you are looking at yourself on the screen. I kind of want to use the car keys, but I feel like that would be incredibly stupid because if I turned it on, then it would make a racket, and if it didn't actually drive, it would just draw all the zombies to us. So I think for now, let's have another look around the room. Maybe can I pick this saw up? I can. Yes. Yes, please. No, I want to pick this saw up. I... Clementine. 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 Okay, sweetie, I just need you to... I just need you to, um... Because I'm, I'm effectively being the spirit of Lee here, so... That's how I like to refer to Clementine, so I could be like, Clementine! Because I know he never said that, but that's my own spin on it. I'm like a hybrid rage zombie slash Lee Hulk smash type dude. They're gross. I'm going to wear they're gross, because they're gross. Ew. That is icky. <laughs> this a shit sandwich! I don't really know what that is or why he knows what one is, but, you know, whatever floats his boat... I mean, the house probably ran out of food every now and then. They were desperate and hungry. He said it as a joke, but probably bitchy pregnant black woman was like, That sounds good! Because that's how she speaks now. And then, I, I, where was I going with this? I think I should stop the thread that I was going down. I think this train does not want to arrive at the proverbial station. So what would happen here if I just didn't do anything? <laughs> they just stare at each other, blinking, holding a cigarette and a light. Like, look, he's frozen, but he's blinking. <laughs> How's he done that? Do cigarettes freeze people when they're not lit? <laughs> That's amazing. Everyone puts a cigarette in their mouth. They just go weeping angel on you until you actually light it, and then they're allowed to move again. But they can blink just for maximum disturbance factor. Well, yeah, it's, it's what did you expect? It's a cigarette, man. Like, it, it doesn't cure zombie. That would suck if, like, chain smoking was the only way to not become a zombie. We'd all die from, like, smoking. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. I was going to name a smoke-based disease. But then I was like, I don't want to bring us down to sad town. We've got to be helping happy town. We're walking deading. We're, we're walking deading? Why is it night? The night confused me, so to cover up my confusion, what I thought I'd do was just repeat last sentence. That's how the brain works. So, like, if I'm ever in real life, like, walking down the street, and then I'm like, hey, do you want to go? And then something confuses me. I just end up going, hey, do you want to go? Hey, do you want to go? And then they look at me like, yes. And I'm like, awesome. And then we go into like a musical little, 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 yes, little, little number. I've been seeing, I've seen too much of my little brother recently. Yes, I've seen too much of him. The disgusting, but no, I, 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 I like, I, I like Vinny Rage. He's cool. He's a cool guy. I wonder if he could play Walking Dead. That would be fun. I might game. So we're going to go kill Mr. Zombified. Oh, there should be an option to preemptively stab him, and then that's like a decision you make, so Clementine can become a cold-blooded murderer, and then eventually she can work towards drinking the blood of the innocents. Poke! <laughs> yes, let us poke! I wish to poke the guy! Poke him, Clementine! Poke him with your mighty saw! The saw of Thor! Thor's DIY set! Not as lightning-y as Madrona, but still quite good for cutting planks in twain! So he's fine, he's just coughing, did the thing that Rick did in the second episode of the new season, so we're good. I feel like a ten pounds of... Really? Is Where is he getting his expressions from? Why do they all involve shit? Did, what has gone down at that house, really? And I already love that probably by this point in the like, proceedings of the show. There's probably a load of people in the comments right now that are like, Rage, you're talking too much. You're not paying attention. I can't hear what they're saying. Oh. 
And you know what? To you guys, <laughs> subtitles for a reason, like and I strangely enough can talk and still read and acknowledge what's going on on screen. So, you know, if you want those previous three things not to happen, then play the game yourself. <gasps> I know! How crazy is that of an idea? But for everyone else, the vast majority of you who loves being on this journey with me, high five, alright, and I want you to pat yourselves on the back of your head for me. Yeah, back of your head today. Not your face, not your back. Back of your head. Good. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna be all cold. Sass Master Ninja called Clementine. He's on his own! Because I really want him to die because he decided to kill himself effectively. Can we just drive off in this? Although, to be fair, Clementine can't really drive, and the one guy who can drive is about to turn into a zombie, which would be incredibly inconvenient if your driver suddenly became the undead. Just, there is a saw in there. It is so easy to kill two zombies. I don't understand why people are so scared of them. We just need freaking what's his MacGuffin. What's his MacGuffin? Can you tell me? You know, thingy, 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 thingy. No, you're coming with me. We're not giving up. He's not gonna stay here. Yes, you might be a good human sacrifice for me. There might be a massive crowd of zombies that I personally can't get past, but if you're with me, I can throw you into them. You're dead anyway, you can't be pissed at me. You can get torn to pieces and die in excruciating agony while I breeze past like the ninja I am. God, is it really that just... Ah, oh, you're so stupid. Did I say that out loud? Um... Please come with me? Okay, can we- is there a knife in there? I kind of want a knife, like, legitimately wants to. Why we just stood still? There's like loads of- oh, yep, yeah, on cue. Run! Run! Are you kidding? <laughs> Instantly! Instantly he falls- what? No! Walk away slowly! Walk away slow- there are zombies! What are you doing? At least face your- Oh! Oh, I hate needless sacrifice so much. Oh, it's so... I just... I... It's not even noble. He just had to shuffle away. I mean, you know how I was saying about the horde of zombies we can't get past that you might work as a good human sacrifice? I was joking, and I also really didn't think it would come into play this quickly. But apparently, I underestimate these characters. God, I love this game! All right, Clementine, we found a nice casual house, not a formal house. We can approach it with the swagger that we have become accustomed to. Oh, no, it's the house. Okay, it looked different. I don't remember it being yellow. But again, last time we saw the outside of it, it was dark, so Clementine, there you, you go. Right? Wait, not with you? if she got back to the house this quickly, surely we could have got... I mean, I know he was technically dead, whatever, but still. Clem, Pete got bit. What? What happened? Yeah. Walkers. Yeah. <laughs> Pete got bit. Where were you? What Where happened? You exactly. Walkers. No, I bit him. No, it was a squirrel. Freaking just terrible doctor man. <laughs> they are the solution I can see to all of this. Get the guns, we're gonna shoot some shit. It's gonna be so good, we're gonna find so many bullets and the problem gonna be solved. Just, what is with the pregnant black woman? I just don't understand. It's like, it's just ridiculous. Can you please watch Sarah. She's upstairs. Mm. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. She Where gets she going? nervous. She I just going? wanted an option for she should specifically go with you so she can come back dead. Or, or not, anything. as the case may be. We'll be back soon. Okay, so they go to do exciting things while we play the lounge around the house and try not to die of boredom game. I'm down. I am a master of really. I'm, yeah, I'm a master of really. I've got a degree in really. Why was she under the house? Is she this oblivious? Like, she's she's special. Come on, take one of me. You know what? Fine, I'm gonna take one of her. Why not? I can show this picture to people later on when I say, "Do you want to know the definition of naivety?" And then I can just give it the photo. I'm gonna wait till you don't smile, so it's a really terrible picture of you gonna wait. Clem? I'm gonna keep waiting. Work them jaw muscles. Yep, I know it does. Keep hurting. Keep the pain. Fight the burn. Fight the burn. It means it's working. Keep that pain going. Stop smiling. Stop Clem? smiling, you bitch. Let's just stop smiling and I'll take this picture. Stop the fact you look really bad smiling, so it's just as embarrassing. There you go. Look, there's a picture of you. Now do you understand why I hate you? What's wrong? I mean, 
Um, um do you look dad? pretty? I wish that was a dialogue option. They're, <laughs> they're fishing. You're scaring me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell her they're fishing. I know that's not true. Oh man, she's detected that something was fishy about that statement. Cause they're fishing. I can't eat it. Cause, ah, uh, that's why you're here, everyone. That's why you're here. That's why you're here for this, with me on this journey of undeadery. TM Rage Gaming, new word for the Rage Dictionary. Und the gurgles. We are the gurgles. We come from far away. Hey, hey, hey. That's the gurgles theme tune. That the gurgles gurgle. To. You want to see what I found? Why do they keep just looking at each other? Oh, here we go. All right, so is it a gun? Will you show me how to use it? No. I couldn't. Find I'll use it on you. If something's practical. Bad, no. What if I have to use one? It's too dangerous. Uh, everything is dangerous. I need to know sometime. You well, should let your dad teach you. I just, I. Oh God. What should I shoot? Oh God! Do not yeah. point the gun. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jesus! Maybe I could practice outside. That would be the There's worst that. end to Clementine's adventure ever. Hey, looks back. Can we shoot him? How did he survive? The undeserving bastard. Unless Luke isn't the guy I'm thinking of. I'm bad with names. I'm more of a face person. Let us walk. Gone fishing. That's where we got the idea from. I love how she's like, ah, I don't no need for haste. I'm gonna casually stroll down the stairs. Unless oh, she's suspicious. She's suspicious. She gave the suspicious face. I'm going to look out the window, see what's up. I bet a zombie's going to suddenly press itself against the window. I'm calling it now. The trope of all zombie films. Oh, there's nothing out there. Okay. Was it a spooky, scary zombie turn? Oh, I want to play chair. Ooh. Ooh, let's look out here. Yeah. Oh, really? That, that it was just a squint at the window. That's not Luke. Yeah, I know that's not that's the whole um, thing of the suspicious. I know him. Really? Who is it? He can't see me. Why just not? Go away. Who is he? Uh, I I don't remember. But you just oh. said you know him and that he can't. I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. She's having a panic attack. She she's actually a magnet for zombie death. Like there's no one finer. Hello. Yep. Hello. Lock door. Yes. Lock door. Damn it. Damn it. Get out, I have a g <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing just fine. That's the best conversation. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm good yourself. Surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What is your name? Uh, what's what's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Sassmaster. I'll shake his hand. I kinda like this guy. Instantly regret decision. Oh, no, we're good. He seems like a nice guy. Don't give him the I don't trust you stare, Clementine. <laughs> Come in. Come in. Come in. Come join us, man. I'm like, I'm just making it as difficult as possible for what's a naive face. Naivety central. You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Just me and dad. A lot of folks in there. Just me and dad. Yeah. What's his name? <laughs> Ed. Strong Ed. I like him already. Or is he? He's I'm out. just deliberately lying to fuck with the other well, girl. Oh, God. Maybe not my best people. choice of words, Seven actually, now that I think exactly. about it. They've been gone Ed. a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. Bit taller than you. Please let me have an option to just big black guy. I saw them <laughs> there dead. And a pretty little pregnant lady. <laughs> I wish I could have just gone. She's in the other room. I like this guy. Why is he so suspicious? I feel like he's gonna secretly turn out to be very violent. Hmm. Like what's gonna happen if she finds him? Is she is he just gonna straight up shoot? Is it bad that I hope so? George, George, man, I'm fine with you being in here, but can you not just blatantly look around the place like you think I'm a lying... I mean, which I am, but can you not even think yeah, I am? Well, I'm supposed to be yeah, casual lean, Clementine. Casual lean, one foot behind the other. Casual stance, this is how we do. We disarm him. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north. 
Looking Where do you live? I like. I just want to have a casual conversation with him. <laughs> over there. There's a sweet little spot with a boat where we pitch camp. Got a few tents up and everything else. Ooh, like do you have I a dog? Said, I'm surprised we haven't run into each other. Do you have a dog? No, I don't. What difference does it make? Oh, it could have been that cab. Oh. Where does this go? Uh, over there. You know, it's fine. I'm not gonna stab you. Uh, in the drawer there. <laughs> Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing, but this situation is just amusing me so much. I'm just completely going along with this guy. See, I don't want to get in a fight for my life because of Miss Naivety hiding over there, to be fair. Hiding over there, to be fair, because you work, got to beware of this guy. He's maybe a secret bear. I knew so, a guy yeah. that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug, son of a bitch. But a smart man. What's his name? Carlos. <laughs> Reaction face! Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. I like a man who can play chess. In fact, I like anyone who can play chess. I'd like to challenge him. Again, not my best choice of words. I just mean I respect an ability to play chess. Before you go there, guys. God. I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably the wind. It's probably just the wind. We are so bad at lying right now. I'm gonna go shoot the wind. <laughs> I really hope that's his thinking. I mean, obviously it's not. I, he's gonna go shoot the girl. But I'd like the idea of him fighting with the wind, just straight up wrestling it. Could you wrestle the wind? I think the wind would probably wrestle you. Where is she hiding? I wish to point. Oh, really? That is such a terrible, terrible hiding spot. You, nobody's here. Yeah, sass master. Casual lean stance, angry glare. Oh, Clementine. Just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Yeah, that sure. makes sense. <laughs> She's so eviling him. The evil's pouring off her face. Who's this? Hmm. Well, well it's a kid. It's a kid. Yeah. Looks like it was taken in this room. Maybe we shouldn't have taken a photo. Yeah, you give that evil face. You saw the sass of Clementine. You have no idea who these people are, do you? How do you know them? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Pete trusted me. He did, huh? You sure about that? Yes. I want to side with this George guy. He seems cool. He seems to know what's going on. He's got a fur-lined coat. You know everyone with a fur-lined coat knows what they're doing. I can let myself out. Why shouldn't I trust them? Tell me. Lay the seeds of doubt. He did lay the seeds of doubt. The doubt seeds have been lain. I wonder what they will grow into beautiful doubt trees with blooming distrust and flowers of betrayal. Betrayal. I don't really know what I'm doing anymore. So, this is interesting, isn't it? We've got a mysterious stranger who claims that the group is a lot more crooked than they are, and we're caught up in the middle of this, and we'll probably have to choose sides. And coincidental timing, they happen to be back. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? You... Freaking tattletale bitch! The door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. <laughs> Coming in either way. I told you not to open the door for You anyone. left the door unlocked? Did he say his name? Did he say what his you name was? You specifically left the door unlocked Maybe when you left. Him. You know damn well who it was. Why do you care so much? Excuse oh. me? I don't know why you care so much. <laughs> why do y'all care? He said his name was George. George? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? He was wearing a brown coat. His voice was deep. Different. He had a mustache. He had a mustache. 
Like mine, or more like Alvin's? Um, it was... droopy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course yes. Not, yes, he That's is. Nice man I know, which is he's gonna murder he's all your bitches. Crazy or not nice, yeah, but to be fair, you only right? know like a small percentage you of the human race. I like, I like, I like seven people. So him being the nicest person purpose. that you know isn't the biggest doing? credentials. He could still be a psychopath killer, but still be like up there on your list of nicest people. Picture? What were you doing taking pictures? I told you! I told you at the time! Pictures were a bad idea! Carlos. What? You need to calm down. <laughs> you I'm told me to distract you. her. You told me to distract her. Well then. Distract? <laughs> um, I mean, not Sorry. distract. <laughs> I just Sorry. literally, my whole mission here he is to cause as much shit us. between these people as possible. Time must have surprised us. <laughs> she hadn't been there. Oh god, I love this game. Uh, he was too smart to stick around. Uh, be back it's fun running back. from zombies, but it's so much fun time. just messing with these character interactions and making them everyone distrust each up. other. We're moving now. Alvin, wait. Oh what? I caused everyone to move. Excellent. Please, now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys, but it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from Ooh. here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. He said his but name was I'm George. You, but he sounds like you, someone Clementine us. could be friends with. We have to leave. I wonder if I get the option of shooting all these people, we like in a row. Pete. We'll Maybe with one bullet. Out. Maybe get some collateral. You know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody, grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road, everybody. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that will do for today's Walking Dead. We've gotten back into the story of Clementine. It's all good. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Yeah, I know you are. Be sure to like, guys, for this return to the Walking Dead retarded verse. My name has been Rage. I will see you all next time. Oh, good. Bye.